It's come to my attention, not all of y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading today, Sagittarius. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonate and how they do, because that is how I keep up with y'all, Sagittarius, is through the comments. Also, if you enjoy this tarot reading today, Sagittarius, or you just enjoy my vibe, darling, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out so much um and i wasn't super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to do that for me sagittarius uh but also remember to use your intuition for this reading today sagittarius because put it in perspective i'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you darling you know your situation better than i ever possibly could i believe my tarot cards today are just here to give you some food for thought a perspective for you to consider sagittarius but never making the choices in your life because it's your life to live not mine darling so with all that being said saji let's get into your reading today your weekly horoscope Today. Let's see what's going on for my Sagittarius's. See what's going on with them. See how they're feeling, right? What's going on with you, Saji? How's your week been, right? How have you been feeling? That is the question <laughs> that I'm asking y'all. So, three of air, three of swords, Sagittarius. Ooh, this is the pain that you're in right now, darling. Sagittarius, I'm so sorry. Uh, this card says, great sadness, taking time to heal, and the need to he forgive yourself or others. So Sagittarius, you guys are currently experiencing a little, a little bit of pain right now. It feels like you guys are licking your wounds a little bit, and uh, it bums me out, Sagittarius, because I know last week you guys were considering on, like, making a move three cups in the reverse try to come out making a move where it's like almost you separating yourself from an energy so some of you guys were considering like transitioning jobs or transitioning friendships or relationships in your life but you were you were afraid last week sagittarius and making that move because you don't want to hurt people's feelings um if you haven't watched last week's reading i always link it up here somewhere if you want to check it out sagittarius but yeah um if the star card coming in here so this is like this is definitely some growing pains for you sagittarius um this card tried to come out as well the sun card this is in the reverse though the sun card and the star card this is definitely sagittarius you guys are going through some growing pains um this is definitely a i mean i have to be honest sagittarius right i feel like you guys are this is going to be a pretty rough week for you um definitely one of those times where you're going to need to figure out a way to just like mentally take yourself out of situations and emotionally and just find ways to ground yourself uh is something that i'm getting sagittarius i really do feel like that's important for you guys but uh let's get a little bit more detail on this three of air what is this pain that you're going through right so you get a little bit more detail so ten of wands in the reverse similar to um leo's reading sagittarius i don't know if you have leo in your chart if you do check out that reading as well um similar to leo's reading in the sense that like you're experiencing pain but it's like again confirming where it's growing pain because this ten of wands in the reverse shows to me the pain that you're experiencing is still releasing baggage right this uh star card coming in is where it's like you're chasing after your dreams you're still like the, you're, the path that you're on you're going after your dreams but right now it just is like a period of darkness a period of struggle uh, for you Sagittarius is right now. So it does feel like you guys are just in a rough transition phase currently. So if you are feeling this right now, Leo, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, definitely do not lose out on hope. This is just a time where it's going to be, you know, probably feel like you're going through a little bit of a dark period, darling. So the Hermit in the reverse coming in here, uh, coming in with the Four of Pentacles. So definitely Sagittarius, this comes in as a message of uh, reaching out and being more social. I feel like the worst thing that you can do this week, Sagittarius, even though this is probably like some of y'all's instincts currently, is to kind of keep your shell keep yourself keep yourself shelled off you know really not allowing any new energies in four pentacles comes in to me where it's like there's something that you can be investing your pentacles into eight of pentacles this could be a sense of where it's like you need to make this pain or like this discomfort that you're experiencing right now sagittarius take this discomfort and allow it to uh, motivate you into teaching yourself a new skill, perhaps, right? If you guys are going through this current pain because you're having to transition from a job, right? Or you're transitioning from a job, right? Take this time to learn a new skill, adopt a new skill. Um, 
we have the five of pentacles in the reverse coming in for you with the seven of swords this is interesting sagittarius because this is almost like spirit asking you to give something another chance to engage with something further something that you at one point were clocked out from right five of pentacles comes in in the sense of where it's like you probably didn't feel like you belonged or like I don't know, Sagittarius. There's just like the strong push that I'm getting where it's like reconsider something that you were initially checked out from, right? This Hermit card in the reverse and this Eight of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles shows to me where it's like almost like giving something another chance. I don't know what that's going to necessarily mean for you guys, Sagittarius. It's obviously, it's going to mean something different for everybody. So I'm not going to try to overanalyze it, darling. But there is this message here where it's like during this period, consider reaching out like i don't want to say consider reaching out because i don't feel like it's necessarily a person per se but it's like during this rough period consider picking up a skill or a craft perhaps even that you weren't that you weren't uh putting much energy into before right maybe you have some golf clubs or maybe you have like a bunch of journals and stuff and like uh, artist materials um but you haven't been creating or you haven't been using those tools like those golf clubs or whatever in the closet uh, maybe this is the time to bring those out from the closet and that's the way uh, <laughs> i'm 12 um and that's the way uh you get over that hump right because i did say i feel like there's some way it's important for you sagittarius this week to find a way to disconnect and just ground yourself and cleanse yourself and some of that may just be like picking up that book that you've been holding like it's been on the nightstand for a long time or picking up those golf clubs that are collecting dust or you know opening up that box that has all your art supplies and start creating again it feels like you have to you, there's something that you already have that you've kind of just been pushed onto the sidelines and it's like i feel like this is a week of really tapping back into it and putting more energy into this sagittarius so let's see how as we continue this journey for you this week sagittarius what that looks like Summon of the air, summon of swords, plans that need revision, more going on that meets the eye, and then and poor timing. So, very interesting with this Sagittarius, because as you continue on with this week, I want to get some more cards, but it's almost like you're changing up plans. Nine of, nine of wands comes up. Are you guys moving? It feels like you guys, Sagittarius, are like about to go take on like a new, like undertake something and is not going to lie. It's almost like a little bit of manic energy. <laughs> um, six of wands as well. This is giving me very, I mean, this is very much so in your fashion, I guess, Sagittarius, but it's like, it feels like you guys start um, opening, like you guys start like, like throwing yourselves into like, you guys are keeping yourself busy, right? And I don't think this is necessarily a bad thing, but it almost makes me wonder if this is like a coping mechanism for you, Sagittarius. Because I know with my Sagittarius is darling, um, the best way that they handle their emotions is by just throwing themselves into more and more work and not really actually dealing with the situation. And so that's something I'm just going to say. That's, you know, I'm going to leave it at that, darling. But um, Six of Wands coming in here. It's showing to be a good sign, though, uh, and be productive. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Uh, okay, I like this energy. I just want you, I just want to, you know, again, this is all just intuitive, darling. So take this por portion of the message as you will. I'm just noticing with this theme of cards and how they're adding up, it's like, you're going through this rough patch initially that we talked about with that three of air, that three of swords, Sagittarius. And then as the, this week progresses, you get yourself in the seven of swords energy, which is kind of chaotic energy. Um, <laughs> and kind of just going into this deeper like the chaos that ends up happening in your life is through you kind of just throwing yourself into the deep end with a lot of things um distracting yourself through your pentacles um committing to a bunch of different things i don't know sagittarius i just want to say be careful about what it is like don't make a long official commitments this week, Sagittarius, is all I'm going to really say. I don't feel like you guys are necessarily making bad choices, we'll say necessarily, but I feel like you guys could end up compensating like the stress that you're going through with like over committing to a bunch of different things because I kind of see this as a potential you burning yourself out, Sagittarius, and then, and then kind of facing the problem that you should have been facing weeks ago, right? Um... 
and it just feels 10 times worse, right? It feels like you guys are trying to like fill up a portion of yourself that feels empty. For some reason, I feel like Sagittarius, there's a part of you that feels empty. And then I feel like it's associated with that fear of swords pain that we were talking about at the beginning. So let's see how this ends out for you, Sagittarius. Ace of water, ace of cups. So very polarizing energies. You start out this week feeling a lot of pain. You go throughout the week really overcompensating, keeping yourself busy right just don't 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 sign any kind of don't i <laughs> i never really insert this kind of perspective sagittarius but i i i wouldn't feel comfortable posting this reading um and not acknowledging this but it's just like the energy that you're going to i don't feel like is a bad thing i guess i want to put that out there darling <laughs> but i see this chaotic energy and i see you potentially sagittarius just over committing yourself to a bunch of different things and i feel like that's the worst thing you can do for yourself this week um I feel like you need to just just be careful. You know how to handle yourself, darling, so I'll leave it at that. But yeah, the ending of this week, Ace of Water, Ace of Cups. So this card says falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, darling, and then a new home. So you guys, some of you Sagittarius, remember I, I even asked if some of y'all are moving. Um, so with the ending of this week, let's continue on with some clarifiers. Six of uh pentacles coming in here with the ace of swords stepping up as well for you two different aces coming in for you Sagittarius. very interesting so how this week ends up turning out for you is that through all this chaos it kind of i feel like it all balances itself out um and i feel like you almost discover Sagittarius where you want to start sinking your energies into next um i feel like this is kind of just like a very much so like growing pains week of where it's like you find your alignment or like you find your purpose and like where it is that you need to be um what you what you what it is that you need to be doing with your life Sagittarius that I see you trying to figure out and find throughout this week you try to figure out your purpose or what your next move is or your calling is in some way to find your own way and purpose I feel you I feel you trying out a bunch of things this week and trying like a bunch of trial and error but i do see you guys at the end of this week really kind of having a strong idea on like where it is that you're going with your life and what it is like the path that you are in so i really like this energy a lot for you sagittarius I, i'm just gonna say though just don't commit to anything page of swords in the reverse be careful about communication this week though still sagittarius um i do feel like communication when it comes to just you expressing your own thoughts and feelings as well as other people around you i feel like that can still be very much so easily misinterpreted um so if you do find yourself when it comes to connecting with people this week sagittarius and like you start feeling like a little bit of tenseness i feel like you should just like vocalize and talk about your perspective and be like hey this is where i'm at this is where i'm feeling right um make sure that you're everyone's functioning off of the same page right the emperor card coming in yeah definitely take this week sagittarius just to really uh reaffirm yourself really uh fami not, not familiarize yourself but reassure the connections in your life um this week on like where you stand as well uh during by the end of this week though i really see this to be like you're gonna have you're gonna figure out you're gonna know I know this sounds so dramatic, uh, Sagittarius, but it feels like by the end of this week, you're gonna really know where it is that you're that you're going in life and like what it is that you're going to be doing. Like you're, it's, it's I see a Sagittarius that's trying to find new purpose through some pain, through this uh, uh, rough transition that you're going through. But you kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel pretty quickly. So I celebrate you for that, Sagittarius. Now, let's see what's going on for y'all's social relationships this week, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on there, darling. We have the Queen of Water, the Queen of Cups. This is the same card that uh, Aries got, actually. So if you have Aries in your chart, Sagittarius, definitely look that up. Or maybe you're connecting to an Aries and related to an Aries. Whatever the case may be is, if you are, then y'all are mirroring each other and both sides are feeling really good. So this card says, Aries, relationships developing into a new level, trusting your intuition, and caring for yourself and others. So you feel good about the connections that you have this week. I would just say, again, Sagittarius, to really um, just check in with the relationships that you have in your life. Make sure that everyone's on the same page. Everyone's feeling good about the connection with one another, right? The High Priestess card comes in here as well. I feel like you guys, uh, Sagittarius, have an idea 
on um, Three of Wands as well. Yeah, you guys, Sagittarius, have an idea on like some type of individual. And I feel like you're not initially close to them right now, but I see you kind of being like, ooh, I could let this person in a little bit deeper. I feel like this is more so coming in as a sign for my Sagittarius who had someone recently in their life that they're kind of like, ooh, I don't know what to make of this person. I don't know if I can like take this person and like allow myself to be a little bit more vulnerable with them. Can I trust them? Can I not, right? You're in your head about it. I kind of get the sense that you can trust them, right? And I know with that three of swords in the reverse that we, not three of swords in the reverse, that three of swords that we start with, I feel like eight of wands coming in in the reverse, this is kind of what's impacting this connection as well. Um, because it feels like you're dealing with like you had such a sour experience with some other connection now it feels like it might be tapering into like your trust issues might be tapering off into other connections in your life seven of wands as well yeah check definitely do this is a week sagittarius even in your social portion is coming in in this wave where it's just like communication problems um everyone has like good intent everyone has good emotions but it feels like communication problems and like People need to speak their peace and not let their anxiety get the best of them. So now, Sagittarius, let's see what's going on for your financial this week. Let's see what's going on there, financial and career. King of Earth, King of Pentacles, I love this energy for you. Hello. This card says, a successful time, confidently accept the opportunities you're offered in the Midas touch. Now, I am going to, again, <laughs> say, I know this King of Pentacles says, confidently accept the um things that you're offered, opportunities that you're offered. Um, this more so, I feel like, take this as a message of where it's, like, um, really affirming that you're going to find your purpose, right? But I really, but part, part of the process of finding your purpose, part of the process of figuring out where it is you go next and start in your finances, in your um, career, is about being able to try out a lot of things. So when you have different opportunities presented to you, Sagittarius, don't just go full in and go hard at the first thing that's presented to you. Dabble in it, but keep your options, don't keep your options open, right? Allow things to, you know, have that revolving door where things come in and go, right? Because when you find the thing that you need to commit to, you'll know it, right? We have the Knight of Wands coming in here with the Four of Cups coming in here in the reverse. So is this like a situation that you init initially ignored? Three of Cups as well as the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, Sagittarius. So in terms of your finances, this may be something that, you know, through this revolving door, I do feel like this is almost like some of you guys, you know, as I was saying, like you, you guys going into your closet and taking out the art supplies that you've had right and doing something out of it i do get this sense that you guys some of you sagittarius is like the things that you put away in your closet that you haven't made time for actually is what kind of brings more success into your life so that's interesting let me know what this is about uh sagittarius let me know uh what thing that you're going to be if you do i guess assuming you listen to this reading um what you're bringing out of the closet is it like some golf clubs darling like what what is it you picking up that book that you started that story or what you know what is it what are you picking back up because i see this being really profitable sagittarius so that is the weekly reading that i have for you sagittarius i hope you found these cards helpful if you found this reading helpful today if you enjoyed any if you found any cards that resonated rather darling let me know in the comments below which cards did and how uh and if you did enjoy this be sure to give this video a like and subscribe um and also if you'd like to book a personal reading with me sagittarius my website is just simply velka I have it linked down below. All my social medias, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, everything is just simply Velka. And hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future, Sagittarius. I love you so much. Bye.